You know what's cool? When your kids ask you to be part of the fantasy football league. I can't believe it. I decided to do it. What else do I have to do? And believe me, it is so much more strategic than I thought. It is a gas. No money involved. Just strategy and beat my boys and their families. And I go back, way back, to general managers, okay? And I've always believed in the draft, the strategies, looking at talent, just like I've looked at talent for with people and organizations, always the right fit. I'm a matchmaker. So they get me involved with fantasy football. I get on the draft. The first thing I think about with no help is I go on AI and Google to find out, well, how, how does this work, you know? And I learned alone plus others. We get on the draft and it was in the evening, my grandson, who's an Ivy Leaguer, okay? And uh, they said, okay, Papa Rock, I'm called Papa Rock, uh, you're draft. And of course, uh, I utilized during the draft I kept on going to AI asking uh, Bill Parcells. And of course, my grandkids doesn't even know who Bill Parcells is. So I would say, what would Bill Parcells, who would he pick of these players? And guess what? AI spit it out. So I ended up with a very young team because they're rookies and so on, first, second year players. And uh, I went with a lot of his choices. First game, I got blown out. Ah, not too bad. I got like 70, 75 points. And uh, I wore sunglasses during the draft, by the way, okay? Even though it was at night, I wanted to intimidate them as if I was playing poker. So I picked the right team. Uh, I ended up with players. I didn't know how to wave. I didn't know how to drop people and so on. So I went on AI, try to learn, because nobody wanted to help me. Second game, I went big. 110 points to maybe 108 or something like that. It was awesome, awesome feeling because guess what my grade was in the draft? Of course, I had an F. And they all laughed at Papa Rock. Ah, Papa Rock doesn't know what he's doing. I won one now and I'm really excited about this week. So anyway, it is so much fun. I mentioned to my sons that are in their 40s, I go, you know what, even though we're very competitive, my feeling to is, hey, listen, we're playing in the black and blue division. I'm up against you guys. I'm competitive. But what I love about fantasy football is all the analytics, all the strategies. I mean, I'm involved. I don't even watch the games. I'm not into football anymore. I don't want to waste my time on Saturdays and Sundays and so on. I'm out there doing my thing, but I'm on the app trying to figure out, do I have a chance? And it's great to beat the odds. So it's a lot of fun. So uh, to me, competition, strategy, sports, business, fun with the family, it's all good stuff. And so, and I love the fact that it's clean fun. And it really connects me to my kids. I'm still the champ and I let them know it. So don't forget. Keep your promises, all right? Know your value. I know mine. Talk to you soon. My team, my NFL team overall, go Raiders.